have seen this happen to athletes in the past to say, as you said, it is cathartic to be out there with your teammates and, and uh, at least for a couple of hours to keep your mind off of it, if that's even possible. Jeff Goodman with the latest on really what is just awful news uh, that we had to report yesterday. Thanks, Jeff. Awesome. Or smothered in cheese and then Salty. like stick it in some kind of baseball related equipment, then you'll be able to find it at an MLB park for sure. Or if you work in Seattle and like the Seattle Mariners, you can eat grasshoppers. <laughs> Four. Pretty awesome. So is this. Jacob Jarvis didn't know he was going to be a star until about 10 o'clock this morning. That's when he found out he'd be a ball carrier for the Buckeyes in their spring game. And from there, he got to work to come up with a plan to make sure that he got into the end zone with just a wee bit of flair. Jacob is just like you and me. He dreams big. He loves his team. In fact, he's envisioned himself scoring a touchdown in the horseshoe for most of his 17 years on the planet. And Saturday... Can't go anywhere without some love. This is a feel-good story, though, because Thames essentially washed out of the majors here in 2012. Korea sort of saved his career. 124 homers there, 382 RBI. Now that he is back home, as is in the States, I'm not crying over his mere presence, but he is worthy of a star. America, your star. It's coming. tonight on Barry's Best on, okay. on the 1030 show. Uh, that was a spectacular play by the young man. Give credit to J.C. McLean who actually got the goal there. Perhaps we might see that one later. Just a guess. Perhaps in that list of 10 to 1. The goal was nice. All he had to do was shoot it in that. Tariq made the play with that kick. How do you do it? Do you do medium? Do you mean medium rare? What's, what's oh, the... Oh, no, I'm a well-done guy. I'm well. I gotta have